Do you ever realize how much you might miss out on because of your pride or your dignity getting in the way? It's a serious question because I think as people, we tend to do or not do a lot of things based on how we think others will view it. Um, one example is me recording these videos every day. I choose to put these on the internet for anybody to see without real regard for how they're going to feel or how they're going to think of me. Hopefully they feel something about the topic, but the topic has nothing to do with who it's coming from. Yes, it's my viewpoint on various things, but the facts exist regardless of who's delivering them. And if I were being prideful or, or worrying about my, my dignity and how others are going to view me, based on what I'm saying, then I would probably not share them at all. I'd probably keep these thoughts to myself. But when you set pride aside and just present things, yes, a lot of them are my opinions, but I have the right to share those opinions. Um, One thing that I'm I'm tossing kind of back and forth uh, on, on doing uh, is the front right side of my car has been making this really obnoxious squeaking noise, and it's not anything that's wrong with the car. I've done the research. I mean, it's, it is wrong with the car, but it's not detrimental to the usage of the car. Um, it does. It's not something that has to be fixed out of safety or anything like that. The car still functions well with this problem. But it makes a really obnoxious noise and it makes the car sound like it's broken or cheap and, and not being fixed. And so I'm, I'm one, avoiding getting it done because I don't want to spend the money on it. But also leaning towards getting it done because I don't want other people to think that I'm driving a car that's ill-maintained. And that's where this kind of stems from is why does it matter what other people think of my vehicle? Why does it matter if it sounds good or looks good or is good for them? If it does what I need it to do, it shouldn't matter who sees it or what they say about it. So that's that's pride in my sense. Like, like I have too much pride in myself to to want to let it keep squeaking, but at the same time like I have more pride in myself in saving my money and putting it somewhere where it will be more useful for me or my family. And I don't know necessarily if pride or dignity is the right word to use, but that's what I'm using because that's how I view it. But I think a lot of times our pride gets in the way of our experiences. We worry too much about what other people are going to say or think or feel about us based on the decisions we make that affect nobody else but us. Um... For example, I just I watched a video recently about the uh, the guy who traded the red paper clip for a house. It was, it was a series of trades, but if you haven't heard the story, look it up. Just look up trade uh, red paper clip traded for house, and you'll find it. Um, but essentially, the guy saw a red paper clip sitting on his desk one day and decided, I wonder what would happen if I traded this. Would I get something bigger or better or anything? along those lines and he didn't care what anybody else thought about it he was like I want to I go on an 
adventure. I want to try something new and see if it if it works out. So he uh, traded the red paper clip and ended up put it on Craigslist, saying, "Hey, anybody got something they want to trade for this?" And uh, these two girls said, "Hey, we have a fish pen, a pen that's shaped like a fish." Change it for the red paper clip, and it just snowballed from there. And eventually, he literally ends up with the deed to a house in um, Kipling. Uh, I, think it's, I think it was in Canada. Kipling something. Kipling was the name of the city. I don't remember where it was at. But got the deed to a to a house, a decent sized house, and um, throughout the process, met and. and traded and got to know hundreds of people uh, all from a red paper clip and he could have very well said oh well I don't I don't want to post this on the internet um, as a trade people will think I'm nuts but he didn't care if people thought he was nuts and through that experience or through that move he was able to gain a ton of new experiences that he never otherwise would have had so, this is going to be a relatively short video because I don't have a whole lot more to say on this, but is your pride getting in the way of something you really want to do? Um, is, is, is it more important to you that others have a good image of you? Or is it more important that you have a good image of you? If you want to do something that's a little outside of your comfort zone, do it, not because you have the approval of others or even seeking the approval of others, but do it because you want to, and it will give you self-worth and value. Don't let your pride get in the way. See you tomorrow.